In South Florida, where surface water is so abundant, most people don't realize that drinking water is a little more difficult to come by. Today's drinking water comes from shallow aquifers, but these aquifers have limited reserves and are slow to recover during droughts. Also, these aquifers are scheduled to be outpaced by future population growth. But there is an alternative water supply called desalination. Desalination is a water treatment technology used at more than 30 facilities here in South Florida, much like this one. Come on, let's check it out. At the Lake Region Water Treatment Plant in Palm Beach County, Florida, up to 10 million gallons of water per day can be produced by desalination using reverse osmosis. The technology removes impurities like salts from groundwater, seawater, brackish water, and even wastewater. In this process, brackish or seawater is forced through very fine or semi-permeable membranes. Clean water moves through the membranes while salts and impurities are left behind. The membranes are spiral uh, permeable material that's like an envelope and the water travels through this permeable material and it's strained, uh, kind of like a coffee filter. The water is treated for taste and disinfection before it becomes part of the public water supply. Before the Lake Region Water Treatment Plant was built in 2008, the residents of three communities in western Palm Beach County depended on water from Lake Okeechobee. During recent droughts, the lake water levels were at risk of dropping too low to serve the residents' needs. To provide these communities with a more reliable, alternative water supply, the South Florida Water Management District partnered with Palm Beach County on the construction of the plant. This desalination plant relies on brackish water from the Florida Aquifer System, a source of water that is less susceptible to drought than surface water from Lake Okeechobee. Now each of these wells are 1,500 feet deep and together they can draw up to 10 million gallons of water per day from the Florida Aquifer System. Now the Florida Aquifer, unlike Lake Okeechobee, is virtually a drought-proof source of drinking water. Desalination technology also eases the demands on conventional water sources that we share with the environment and other users such as agriculture, industry, and tourism. By 2025, desalination plants in Florida are expected to be producing 540 million gallons of water per day. To learn more about desalination and other alternative water supplies, visit the South Florida Water Management District at www.sfwmd.gov.